Now your ABC7 First Alert weather forecast with meteorologist John Scalzi. So we're looking at a 60 degree air temperature, a little bit of cloud cover out there right now and the potential for some spotty drizzle, but that's not going to last long over the course of the next hour or so that chance goes away. We have drier air continuing to filter in riding on this north wind coming in at about seven right now. Dew point value at 52. You look at the dew points to the north, though, and they're much cooler than 52. Remember, dew point is the measure of how much moisture there is in the atmosphere. The drier the atmosphere, potentially the colder it gets during nighttime because dry air releases its heat to space very effectively and cools off the ground. So we'll look for those cooler dew point values to lower our current 52 dew point into the, well, probably 40s, even 30s by the time we get to tomorrow morning. So we'll look for temperatures this morning that come in and in the 60s, but they kind of stay that way throughout the afternoon because even though we get a little bit more sunshine in the second half of the day, the sunshine has to fight against that colder air sinking south and that colder air is going to keep it from getting very warm. 66 our daytime high today and then tonight we'll watch those temperatures fall to the north of us. There are freeze warnings up. Do we have any freeze warnings around here? No, we do not. We're not going to see a freeze warning either tonight or tomorrow night, which will be the coldest night of the week, but we will see wind chill factors that will make it feel pretty close to freezing. That's different, though, than a freeze warning in terms of protecting your plants or anything like that. However, if you do live in inland areas, you may see some temperatures on Thursday morning that are in the upper 30s, maybe even tomorrow in the near 40, maybe even some upper 30s as well. So if you have very sensitive plants like orchids and things that you take special pride in, you may want to protect those by bringing them inside if you want peace of mind. Otherwise, we're looking at some very chilly temperatures tonight with those winds continuing to be elevated, bringing us a, uh, a wind chill factor in the forecast for tomorrow morning. There's a little bit of patchy drizzle around Punta Gorda. As I mentioned, that is really in the process of just dissipating away. Frontal boundary sinks south, came through yesterday. It sinks southward. Our dew points continue to lower. Our winds are out of the north. High pressure builds in as that happens. Our wind speeds increase today, becoming breezy if not gusty. Small crass advisories are up. Rip current advisories are up. And excessive cold uh, watches are up for our area. It's not, well, it's not exactly a watch. I'll call it a watch, but watch out for the excessive cold that will occur tonight and tomorrow night. By excessive, I mean 10 to 15 degrees below our average for this time of year, so significant cool down. Increasing sunshine, colder air moving in, breezy and gusty throughout the day. Those are your forecast highlights really for the next several days. Overnight lows will go with 48 in Charlotte, uh, rotunda coming in at about 46, 45 in Inglewood, 46 in Venice, 44 in Osprey, maybe a 39 tonight in Mayaka City, 43 Longboat, or excuse me, Lakewood Ranch, Sarasota 45, Bradenton 44, Longboat 47, 46 in Anna Maria. So chilly temperatures indeed tonight. We're factoring the winds though and tomorrow morning the feels like temperature will be closer to the 40 mark. We're looking at a north wind coming in at about 20 today and the seven day forecast looks like this. After today's daytime high of uh, 67, we'll have an overnight low of about 45. Feels like temperature tomorrow morning with still kind of a breezy wind around the 40 mark. Tomorrow colder still. We only top it out at about 63 but 40 for an overnight low tomorrow night, the coldest night of the week. That means some inland areas will have temperatures that will be in the upper 30. So I'll call it a first alert weather morning Thursday morning, just because you'll need a little extra time to bundle up, I think. Then we'll start a warming trend that will carry us into the weekend. And by the weekend, we'll have the air conditioners back on. Some of us will anyway, with um, increasing humidity and a chance of showers. Temperatures will be back into the 80s.